Hello, everybody. I am the Linkzilla, and welcome back to Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. When well, last left off, we finished off the secret mine with a severe infestation, and now we are headed to the final area of the game, the Treacherous Mansion. And it definitely looks ominous, so... <laughs> Well, I guess we're finally going to have to move in and find out just who's behind this, and hopefully put a stop to them once and for all. We're heading into the final week before Halloween, so this will be the final few episodes coming at us. Now, there's something that I basically want to point out. For the one thing, you guys might be noticing that the gameplay footage is now on the full screen, because I figured out that you can actually, like, have it at full screen, and you don't need the dual screen to basically touch in order to activate a message from EGAD. And if the situation comes where I need to have both screens to f basically view the map, well, I'll, uh, I'll be able to basically, uh, switch over to that as simply as possible. The second thing that I wanted to point out is that if we go back to the Gloomy Manor, you basically notice that the... All the names of the area, the first letter from each uh, named area, basically is an anagram. So we've got G, H, O, S, T, Ghost. <laughs> it's kind of like the Destiny board from uh, the Duel Monsters game. It spells out Ghost. Ooh. <laughs> anyway, so, well, I think it's time that we just... Got to it. Let's head on in for the treacherous mansion. The front door key. Oh, wait. Hold on. Oh, yeah. Forgot. The paranormal activity in this mansion is completely off the charts. Stay on your toes and start looking for the dark moon piece. Luigi, the final Dark Moon piece appears to be located here, in the treacherous mansion. But I'm reading the highest levels of paranormal activity ever recorded in the his- ever recorded in the history of forever! No paranormal researcher worth their salt would go near the place. Yep, going in there is an absolutely terrible idea. For me, you on the other hand, <laughs> hey Gad. Well, you don't really have a choice. You're the only one who can recover the final Dark Moon piece. But don't despair, son. Look on the bright side. You, um... You... Uh... You have a very bushy mustache. <laughs> Come on, Egad. You can do better than that. Whoa, that's a big key. Sorry, I'm no good at pep talks. Anywho, this here is the front door key for the treacherous mansion. How do you have that? You literally said that no paranormal researcher would be bold enough to go near the place, yet you have the key to the front door. You see, this is why I think that when the ever after the Evershade Valley has been abandoned, and Egad must have bought the entire valley and all the property inside it, because he's got the keys and everything, so, well, whatever. Maybe that's what he did with all of Luigi's money at the end of the first game. <laughs> It'll make getting into the mansion a whole lot easier, so don't go losing it. So, this mission is called the Front Door Key, but we've got the key already. I'm sensing shenanigans are afoot. I tried to pinpoint the Dark Moon piece, but there's just too much paranormal interference in there. You'll have to look for it the old-fashioned way. Good luck, Luigi. You're gonna need it. <laughs> Alright, so that's our pixelator. Yeah, I will. Front gate.
Okay, that's already looking very treacherous. Yep. This place is very ominous. And I want to build it in Minecraft. Luigi, your hat! Oh! Careful. Careful, Weege. If you fall into that, there ain't no coming back. Um... You know, part of me doesn't exactly think that this is the best idea, so... I'm gonna look for treasure. Look at him, he's terrified. Gargoyles. Of dragons. Two. Huh. They give a faint sparkle like a they glow from ooh yep maybe the first boo is all the way out here but like check this out if you uh, shine the light yep you can hear the electronic beeping and you can hear the huh. see the glow in their eyes thanks Goliath Eh, uh, who am I kidding? You actually look more like Brooklyn. Of course, all of you look like Brooklyn. If you guys can- if you guys in the comment section know what I'm talking about, please speak up about it. I love that twinkle in your eye. Okay. Is there anything else that I can find? Anything hidden? Hey, look at that down there. Is that a gem? Sitting out in the open? On those vines down there? Well, I know what I want. You'll be okay, Luigi. I've got ya. At least there's no wind. Ooh! Okay. So seriously, was the mansion always like this, or did it gradually erode to get like this? Huh? Or is the place under some uh, kind of magic spell uh, or something? Uh, oh. Oh, yeah. wow. Careful. Oh. Oh. Alright, one more. Almost there, Weege. We're home free. Well, not exactly free, or home, but- uh, uh, Luigi! Uh, uh, we're not coming back that way. What? What? What the, the- There's a pixelator camera up there. Egad, why didn't you just pixelate us here with that camera? I swear, that old man is a troll. And unlike certain Hollywood producers, I know what a troll actually is. Thank you, boys. Alright. Let's open up the door and step right in. Okay, Luigi. Cutscene. Something's gonna happen. Huh. Polter Pop! <laughs> Polter! Uh, uh oh. What? No! <laughs> Polter, no! Bad doggy. Bad <laughs> doggy! Oh well. Hey, those moved. Egad, are you going to say something? Oh, great. 
greenies with swords and shields. I encountered these guys in the... Oh! They spotted me, but they're afraid. <laughs> I spotted the... I encountered those guys in the scare scraper, and they packed quite a punch. But now, that Luigi's made it this far, they're afraid of him. This is the last mansion, so it's better be teeming with loot. Giveth me all of your loot. But let's check the other... Let's check the other side. Window. <gasps> A toad! Booze. And another toad! They framed him! Oh no. Toad? Who's that? Toad. So that's how they do it. Whoever that guy is, he has the power to put people in paintings. Now, have we encountered somebody who could do that before? Poulter pup. That bird was stuck in the stairs. Yep, I have a feeling that that's our way down. Hey, the doghouse! And it's full of cash! Ooh. What is it with people burying their family members in the front yard? Gold Greenie! <laughs> Dang it! Any gems around here? Can I interact with the gravestones? Well, might as well go down the well. Because why wouldn't there be a haunted well in this game? Oh yeah, I forgot that I can... ...track his footprints. Going down. More discolored walls, we know what that means. Mushrooms! Hey, maybe it was a wishing well. That would explain all these coins down here. And I like how the side of the well is broken open. Like, if we were... If we knew where to look, we'd be able to see this from the distance. You know, I really sometimes I don't get how the Mushroom Kingdom works. Though, maybe technically we're now no longer in the Mushroom Kingdom. But I just thought that mushrooms in this world, well... I thought that mushrooms had magical powers and whatnot. Poulter Pup! He had a helmet on. Okay. Guard tunnel. He came in through here. Gold mice! No! I am off my game today. So these statues of armor like there was back in the gloomy manor. Okay, he went in there, but he went down. It's 
making that noise? Strong greenies. Heck, did that greenie not get hit? Oh, yeah. Side. Yep, that's definitely a gem. Gold bone. Are we ever going to use these things on the pup? Ah, so that's what makes it go back up. Clever! I need something to burn. Aha! You know, I really do wonder, who's putting up all these wall-shaped cloths all, all over the place? This wallpaper. The pup was here. Another carpet. A self-replacing carpet. Hey, I'm gonna borrow this real quick. Well, that was efficient. Wait a second. This is a puzzle. Let's see. I can't... Oh! That's clever. Uh. What the? Oh, that's not good. Um... Um... Aha! Pratt Falls. And I had a feeling it'd be possessed by a greenie. I just didn't think it'd be a strong one. Come on, Sir Trips a lot. Oh, dang it. I had more puns that I wanted to make. Come on, don't you want to come to life and menace me? How about you, sir? Mm -mm. 
I now conquer the throne. Whoa! The haunted catacombs. Paw prints. Golden Frog, no! Oh! Dang it, should have done that. So, this place is definitely haunted. Up went that way. Oh, that was a fake and I didn't even realize it. There he goes. Of course. Oops. <laughs> He went in there. Wait, hold on. Oh. Dr. Greeny Stein. <laughs> Throw the main switch. It's alive! It's alive! It's alive! <laughs> Give me those goggles. Ah, hider! No seeker! Seeker, 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 seeker. I said, put those goggles down. Yeah. Is that a gem? That's a gem. How do I get it? Hearts. I'm kind of looking for stars and horseshoes, clovers and blue moons, pots of gold and rainbows, and the red balloons. Full power right now! Oh, a boo! Better run from Bulldog! <laughs> Alright, Bulldog. Who oh, let the dogs out? Oh, 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 oh.
That was a pitiful performance. Get in there. You're going to the vault. But I now have a helmet, and it's already locked on target. Ha <laughs> ha! And it's a beautiful diamond. Wowie! That is a big hunk of rock. <laughs> Hmm. That guy just pointed me this way. What about you? You got some... He points that way, too. Thank you. Oh ho ho ho. I wouldn't exactly call it art. <laughs> what the? You guys saw that, right? That was not natural. Well anyways, I've got it, so... Aha! Another gem! And there's the third gem. I think that three should be enough for now. They usually only start with three. Yeah, I wasn't going to let them get away this time. Especially not when they had three gold ones to them. Money! I'd say that playing games where you make a whole lot of money in the levels, they can, they honestly can help cure your depression. Well, not exactly cure it, but they can help you make you feel better. Because honestly, I don't really think that there is a cure for actual, for depression. Okay, I gotta get back on the pup's trail. He went this way. And he went that way. But... But is this gonna work like the ca all the catacombs? Yep. I knew there was a good reason why I was following those knights' directions. Dungeon cells. Spooky! Polterpup! Uh, sit, boy! Sit! <laughs> Strong hider. I think this is the first time I've encountered one of them. Usually that'd be filled with ale. A water bucket? Ooh.
んです。He's hiding in that barrel. How do I get to him? Ooh! Clever! It's a game of checkers. And that is a painting of a bomb. Man, whoever basically was here must have had a great escape attempt. feeling. I had a feeling. <laughs> hey Poulter! I got you now! Gotcha! And got the key back. Yo ho! Hello? Hello? Oh, hello? Bravo, Luigi! Someone needs to put that le put a leash on that blasted pooch! Eh, you're pretty far d from the mansion's entrance now. It'd be faster for me to bring you back here and then send you to the entrance, which you could have done from the beginning. Hold on! Well, this is the final area, so have we finally managed to catch that blasted polter pup? <laughs> 24 minutes, ouch. Treasure. Two star rank. Yeah, be proud of that, Weege. Welcome back, gangster! Nice work hunting down that front door key! That dog really took you for a walk! <laughs> Alright, moment of truth! New gem? Gem? And gem? We got him! <laughs> we got the Polter Pop! Oh, he's so cute! Look at him, I just want to scratch his chin! Scratch behind the ears. And, yep, the strong hider was a new one. And a boo. 50,000. Ha! Gotcha now, you spooky mutt! I made some adjustments to the capture mechanism so this so we couldn't escape this time. Although, you didn't encounter as many ghosts as I thought you would. However, that was just the basement of the treacherous mansion. Who knows what the rest of the place will have in store for you. The mansion looks a lot creepier than the last time I saw it. I wonder who's been redecorating. Wait, you were already afraid of this place and said that no paranormal researcher worth their salt would go anywhere near it, and now 
it looks even worse than you the last time you saw it. Shisa. Anywho, I'll adjust the pixelator to send you to the mansion's entrance. In the meantime, why don't you do some training in the skyscraper? You'll need to keep your skills sharp to make it to the treacherous mansion. Well, that's as good an invitation as any. So, we'll basically, uh... We'll leave that here. I'll go back and redo the front door key on my own time to get uh, the triple star rank. Let's head down to the vault and take a look. Look at all that money. Oh my god. 50,000 in gold coins and dollar bills. Why can't we see the gold bars? I want to see those start to pile up. Okay. Unlockables. There he is. Let's see, um, hmm. Now that, now that these ghosts have been augmented by the crystals, capturing them is even trickier. It's best to wait till they show themselves to stun them. Alright. And now, the real prize. <laughs> there he is! Question mark. I haven't come up with a name for this mischievous and adorable polter pup yet. He's caused us a whole mess of trouble, but I think the playful type just wanted someone to take him in. Aww, cute little dog. I mean... <laughs> this is coming from someone who's ordinarily not a dog person. I had to spend, like, a little bit of time over at my sister's place, and she and her husband have two dogs now. And let's just say that those dogs are a bit rambunctious. I mean, they think that they're lap dogs, but they are definitely not lap dogs. And, I don't know, I I've grown up all my life around cats, and I just find that cats are a bit easier to take with how aloof they are. And I mean, if a cat wants to cuddle up to you and show you affection, you don't turn it down, but it feels like a dog always needs affection. But, I can't deny that Polterpup here is a cutie, although I could just imagine that as hard as it is basically taking care of real dogs, uh, taking care of a ghost dog is probably going to be even worse because, I mean, don't get me wrong, it's probably like a benefit that he can like just phase through the walls to let himself outside when he needs to, you know, go do his business on the lawn. But then, then comes the complication of, uh, let's say that basically, like, you need to keep him out of a, a certain room. How are you going to basically do that? Because there are times where you have to vacuum, you have to clean up, you have to basically do stuff that the dog is just going to interfere with. you got to keep them out of the way or else they're going to make a mess. So, but anyway, he's a cute little tyke and I love him. So, anyways, I'm going to cut the episode for now. I think that when we next come back, we're going to take Egad's advice. We're going to do the final Scare Scraper challenge early, because I don't want a repeat of the debacle of the last one. I couldn't do that one, but I'm pretty sure that if I that I should be able to do the hunt. But just in case it doesn't work out, I'll definitely know for sure. I'll have the foresight to cut it early just in case and then we'll basically start the level from there so thank you guys so much for watching this video if you liked it leave a comment on the comment section below like it share it with your friends if you want to keep up to date with more luigi's mansion coming at you in the future smash that subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications and as always i'll catch you guys in the next video later Hi everybody, we're back. I'm trying to get the triple star rank on the front door key, and it's proving to be more difficult than I thought, because as it turns out, the only way that I'm going to get a better score is to get more money. Oh, and possibly, basically, get more health, but, uh, uh, there's something that basically I forgot to do that sh could prove to be my salvation. Here. The Coffin Pocket Dimension. Let's go in and check it out. Let's see. It looks like it's arranged like an S, so... I'm gonna go left. Gotcha! 
Whew, that was close. There are also other little Easter eggs hidden throughout this level, but I didn't think that that was important. So let me just go ahead and basically like, uh, I'll catch you guys at the end to see if I managed to pull this off. Well, I was able to pull it off, but it wasn't easy. So anyways, let's get back to the next episode. I'll see you guys next time. Later.